it's good to see everybody and welcome back. We were on vacation for a while. <laughs> but we hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season uh, and you were able to, again, spend some time with family and friends. And we hope everybody is safe out there with the pandemic that continues. But again, welcome back. It is... 2022, the first week of 2022. It's amazing. <laughs> but um, this month we will be celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. So you'll notice on our streams we will be working a lot on some of our songs in recognition of Dr. King. Um, and then, of course, the month of February coming up, we've got President's Day. Black History Month and Valentine's Day. So that's a little hint to uh, go out and get your present there. <laughs> but we'd like to recognize some of our newest followers on this program. We have Nisalo and also Ko'okulele. And thank you, um, producer, for being a resubscriber. We appreciate it. And again, it's good to see all of you on this program. Now, let me see here. We do have a tune for you from the islands of Samoa called the Coconut Song. Yeah, we've played that before on this song. This is one of our songs we learn for our beginner class. You can do it. Okay. But um, let me see. This is a good time to work on our breathing here. So, before we do our song, let's kind of do some nice breathing and stretching. Breathe in and all the way out. And in again and out. One more time and out. All right, good. But um, our reflection for this week, it is about the topic of reading. So here we go. Reading has benefits beyond increasing knowledge. A good book can offer insight into our anxieties or bring hope into a dark moment. So think about some good books you got out there that you enjoy, fiction or otherwise, and how have they helped enrich your life. So that is our reflection for today. But let us think again about the coconut song. A lot of coconuts back on the island. So that's what this song talks about. The eating and drinking of the coconut. And about the eating of the rice and the taro. The taro root, very popular on the islands. Here we go. that was an F chord and a C7 chord. So yeah, that's a very good song for my beginners to work on there. But this, um, this, that is what we call the advanced strum. But if you can't do that, just go coconut, coconut. Yes, <laughs> but 
we usually play that song or that strum uh, anytime that we sing coconut. All right. But aloha to our friend Grindbox. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Now, let me see here. So our other um, thing that we want to work on this week for our self-care, because this is a self-care program. <laughs> well, not the whole program, but some of it. This is related to finding some rest. So let me share with you some thoughts on rest. Okay. So it says here that fatigue is the common enemy of us all. So... Take some time to slow down, rest up, replenish, and refill. And physicians promise us that if we do not take time to be well, we will assuredly take time later on to be ill. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. So again, this talks about taking some time to get a quality sleep, and again, working Quality sleep will help protect our mental health, physical health, and our quality of life and safety. And sometimes when we're tired, it is hard to make decisions. It is hard to solve problems or control emotions and behavior or handle change. So the three questions that I'd like to ask are this. What areas of life do I need to slow down in? Yeah. <laughs> What could I do that would provide me some rest? That would be good. When could I create space on my daily routine to rest? So friends, those are some suggestions for you. And again, our self-care tip is to rest and find time to rest. Some of you know I am a retired person, but aloha to static age. <laughs> but... Um, I remember when I was working, what I would do during lunch is not eat my lunch, I'd go rest. <laughs> so, so I'd pull over to one of the parks over there and park the old car and take a nap. But remember, always set your alarm before you fall asleep because you'll be late for the office again. <laughs> so, yeah, that would be bad. And you'd be in big trouble, huh? <laughs> All right, now. I've got for you another song for the new year. Um, this is from the islands of Samoa, where my ancestors are from. And um, we were working on this just Tuesday in our ukulele group. So, um, yeah, it's been a while since we played it. So I think the hardest part for the group was pronouncing the words. Because <laughs> this is a song in Samoan, okay? But this basically is a song that talks about Talofa Tene, or Hello, Girl. <laughs> so it is kind of a love song. Maybe it's good for Valentine's. <laughs> but um, you will um, basically hear a lot of the words are in English, and then some of the words are in Samoan. But basically the Samoan parts say this, um, that this young man enjoys hearing the young woman's beautiful voice. And um, he says, I would like to go for a ride in the car and listen to the radio. And then he talks about the day is happy because the sea is bright. Yeah, it would be nice to live near the sea. Huh? And then he says, I would like to go visit the village of Fangatongo. So if you hear Fangatongo, that's what that means. That's the name of the village. So I think you will get this song, even though much of it is in the Samoan language. <laughs> All right. But here we uh, let us give it a go here. All right. Talofa Tene. Come out and play. Wale va 
le fa a lo se o le o banaya te se sa uia se a lo fa maia sa o se ita ti 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 la ta avale ti ti vale o fa a lo lo no pe se o le radio sa o se ita ti 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 la ta avale ti ti vale o sa o se ita your song from the islands of Samoa. And in Samoa we say Talofa, that means howdy. <laughs> All right, you heard the word Ta'avale quite a bit in this song. That was referring to the car because they like to go out for a ride in the car and listen to the pese or the songs on the radio. All right. Well, let me see. We've got one more song for our concert portion of this program, and then we will move into ukulele class. So everybody, look for your ukulele. If you don't have one, use the air ukulele. That works just as good. But as we've all learned on this show, um, listening to, singing, or playing music is also very good for our self-care. So... Again, take some time every day to listen to music or play an instrument, uh, whatever instrument appeals to you. And I'll be teaching you more about this one here in our next song, <laughs> or the song after this one. All right. Well, friends, it's a reality. The pandemic continues. We have now the variant that's taken place, but... Um, I like this song by my good friend E.J. Harrison because it just reminds us that, yes, even though we are not exactly together, <laughs> we are together. So this song is called Together Apart. In our case, virtually, right? We will. 
Yes. Um, so as I sang this song, this reminded me I was reading today in the Long Beach Press Telegram newspaper that uh, Assembly Member California Assembly, Assembly Member Patrick O'Donnell, who's a good friend, will be retiring next year. And um, I might have told you the story. I used to always go visit the Assembly Member at the Capitol in uh, Sacramento. But um, they would never let me bring the ukulele in. <laughs> so, so I had to leave it outside. So uh, we had a meeting with Patrick and some other uh, educators from the different school systems. So I said, well, Patrick, I'm going to do something I've been trying to do for years. And so I played this song for our assembly member. <laughs> So yeah, Patrick, um, I think next school year, in another year, he'll be leaving the assembly and going back to teaching because he is a um, teacher at Paramount High School in the Paramount Unified School District. So Patrick, we appreciate all you've done for our community. All right. Let me see. We've got one more agenda item here, and then we are going to do our ukulele class. So make sure you're looking for your instrument there. But we do have an important birthday. This is for the uh, immediate past president of NPINE, the National Pacific Islander Education Network. And this is for Teresa Molina. So here we go. <laughs> Happy birthday to Teresa. <laughs> All right, Teresa. Well, let me see. Our first song that we're going to learn for ukulele class, and this is for our 101 or beginners group. And again, I'm going to start this real basic, just assuming some of you have never um, played the ukulele before. This is one. <laughs> but... Um, Again, we strum the ukulele with our right hand, and then we use our left hand to put down our fingers. So, as I mentioned before, you can use your thumb like I do, you can use all of your fingers, you can use one finger, whatever works for you, okay? And um, again, the left hand is where we put down our fingers. Each of the sections in the ukulele is called a fret. Doesn't mean you're fretting or anything. It just means it's a, it's where you put your fingers. So this is section one or fret one, section two or fret two, section three or fret three, and section four or fret four. And this is finger one, finger two, finger three, and finger four. Okay, so that's how we do that. All right. Now we're gonna teach you some chords, and that is. Um, where you put your fingers. Now, if you didn't notice, all of the music for this class can be found on the Ukulele Dad Facebook page. So if you don't have that, just um, check it out later. Again, Ukulele Dad Facebook page. You will find all the music and everything else you need out there. All right. But we have three chords, or basically where we put our fingers down. All right. Yeah, and I was just reminded that I may have forgotten to put the, this music on the, <laughs> the Facebook page. Hey, we've been on vacation for a couple weeks, friends. Hard to remember. <laughs> so, so anyway, we'll get that up um, a little later. Oh, and aloha to uh, Diane. It's a pleasure to see you. <laughs> and Dennis. Yeah, I see Dennis's name up there, too. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Yeah, Dennis is one of our great supporters for N Pine and, an, and a great golfer. So good, good to see you, Dennis. All right. Now, friends, this is what we call the C chord. Or this is, again, where we put our fingers on the ukulele. So this is string number four, known as the A string. So we have... String one is the G, string two is the C, string three is the E, and string four is the A. Then we come down to section one or fret one, section two or fret two, section three or fret number three. So third finger 
is on fret 3, string number 4. So let me demonstrate how that works. All right, Dennis and Diane, here we go. So again, third finger is on string 4. So let's strum it. 5, 6, the C chord. Thank you in the chat there. Um, producer has placed the uh, Facebook um, page for Ukulele Dad. So that's very helpful. But like I said, I think I forgot to put the music. <laughs> It'll be there later. Okay. So that's the C chord. Our second chord is called the F chord. So first finger is on string 3, fret 1. Second finger is on string 1, fret 2. All right, so first finger is again on string three. Second finger is on string one. So let's play that one. Five, six, play the F. Get ready for the C with your third finger. Five, six, play the C. Good. Actually playing some chords friends yep I knew you could do it okay finally we have the G7 chord which is also known as the triangle because it makes one so first finger is on string three second finger on string two and third finger on string four so that is your triangle again when you go to the ukulele dad Facebook page you'll find all this information there it'll have all the chords you, you can figure it out easy plus um, I will download this class to YouTube so you can watch it over and over again. Okay, so here is again the G7. First finger is on string three, second finger string two, and third finger string four. All right, here we go. Five, six, G7. All right, get ready for the F. song is Michael Row the Boat Ashore. This is a traditional spiritual, so we're getting ready for, again, the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King, and you can also play this for Black History Month as well. But not a very hard song. We have C, G7, C, 2, 3, 4, C, G7, keep going, C. Michael Row the Boat Ashore, Alleluia.
you did it. Um, in the music, it says R-I-T. That means to slow down. But um, those not familiar with this song, this was literally a row of the boat to freedom. So they were rowing. But don't, don't use ukulele. You might hurt it. Okay. <laughs> but um, what had happened was the slaves were living on one of the islands off of the uh, Atlantic there around South Carolina. And they woke up and discovered everybody had left. So all the slaves now enjoyed freedom. <laughs> That's a good song. All right. But, Jep, well, Dennis and Diane, I wasn't too far from you. We were over at Golf and Stuff uh, about a week or so ago. So that's not too far from where Dennis lives in Downey. Yeah, plus we were at Porto's. Yeah, I'm sure you would have liked that. <laughs> All right, friends, we that was our beginner's song. Let's now move to our intermediate song. So I will probably move a little faster because I assume you know a little bit more in the intermediate group. <laughs> All right, but this song is called L-O-V-E, Love, um, sung by Nat King Cole and other artists. But um, we need more L-O-V-E out there, don't we? Okay. Um, but let me see, you have already learned some of these chords, so we're just going to learn a few more. The first one we're going to learn is called the A7 chord. So this is a nice one. One, one finger. Your first finger is on string 2. Fret 1. Okay, so let's practice doing that one. Okay. The A7. Well, 5, 6, here we go. A7. Now play the C with the third finger. Let's play the C, go. Yep. That's another song, another chord we'll use in this song. Good job, all right. So let me see, A7, do we learn the G already, I think? Let me see. No, the G we need to learn. We need to learn the D7 also, plus the, the G. All right, we'll do it. Don't worry, friends. Okay. So, the D7 is probably our most complicated one that we're going to learn today. So get ready. Here is the D7, a simple format. So you can see we have our first finger is on string one and our second finger on string three. Okay, so let me show you how that goes. So, First finger is on string one, okay? Second finger is on string three. So let's play the D7. Five, six, here we go. D7. Good. Good work. Now, I'm going to show you this other D7 because you are intermediate students, but this is kind of rough, so beginners forget this. <laughs> but you see, I have my first finger all the way across the fret, fret number two, and then my second finger is on string four. So when you put your finger all the way across like that, that is known as a bar, okay? So first finger forms a bar and second finger is on string number four. Let's play this D7. Five, six, seven, and D7. Yep, that's it. Good job. So again, your alternatives are you've got the complicated D7 with the bar or you have the simple D7 where you just play the first and second fingers here okay so either one is good now we've got a few more for this song <laughs> but when we get to the last song you there won't be too much to learn okay <laughs> so, all right so the g remember we learned earlier the g7 so kind of look at this this is basically the g is an upside down g7 okay so g is first finger string two second finger string four and third finger on string three so kind of think of the g as upside down uh, triangle okay so let me demonstrate first finger string two second finger string four and third finger string three 
All right, let's play the G. Five, six, here we go, the G. Good. Good job. Now, the last two chords are not hard, but they're mainly just to give a nice ending to the song. <laughs> so we have G6. First finger is on string two and second finger on string four. Okay, so this is G6. First finger string two, second finger string four. So here we go, five, six, G6. Our next one is D diminished. So just take your first and second finger and slide it down one fret. That is G diminished. So we have G6. G diminished, G6, and G diminished. Yeah, that wasn't hard. So this is what G diminished looks like. First and second finger and you're sliding. That's how you do it. So we use this at the end of our song. It goes like this. G6, two, three, four. G diminished, two, three, four. G6, G diminished, G6, G diminished, G6. You did it. That was our ending. <laughs> All right. So here's how we do this song, the L-O-V song, starting on the A7. Five, six, here we go. A7, D7, and G. D7, here we go. L is for the way. song to finish up our time together and then we'll do our aloha tune but the good news for you you know all of the chords <laughs> all right so that is good we don't have to learn anything so we have first the c chord third finger we have the triangle g7 no i take it back i think we have one more yeah next we have the c7 so first finger is on string four. So that's not a bad one. C7, first finger on string four. All right. All right. Yeah, mahalo to Senor Sebastian, one, two, three. Thank you so much, very kind. Um, so we did C, G7, C7. We have F, we've already done that. We did that in the coconut song. Coconut and C7. Coconut. Yeah, okay. And then we have A7, which we just did um, in our last tune. All right, friends. So this is another song which um, we will dedicate to Dr. Martin Luther King. It is called Lift Every Voice and Sing. And uh, we also sang this during our celebration of Kwanzaa a couple weeks ago. So here we go. All right. G7, 3, 4, 5, 6, C, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, G7, 3, lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the Oh, 
you did it now if you didn't figure it out that was an advanced song okay <laughs> not so much for the chords but um, again it's got some nice harmony in there and a lot, lot more words so that's good but this was also not only appropriate for Dr. King but well this is um, an anniversary today January 6th of something very sad in American history the insurrection but Yep, think about this song. Let us march forward, friends, to victory, even though things don't look too good. All right, well, it's time to finish up with some aloha, but do me a favor, take some aloha out there to the world. Some L-O-V-E, we need it, all right? We will see you next week at the same time. Also, if you have time on Wednesdays on Facebook, we have the... Um, Talk story with Dr. T. That's me. <laughs> so we do that on uh, Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Pacific time. And of course, this is on Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific. All right, here we go, friends. Aloha from Hawaii. Adios from Guam and the Marianas Islands. Aloha. From the Kingdom of Tonga. Aireira. From the Cook Islands. Aireira. From New Zealand. Yakwe. From the Marshall Islands. Meikun. From Palau. Mothe. From Fiji. Nana. From Tahiti. And Tofa. From the islands of Samoa. Again, thank you so much, friends. It's good to see you. And aloha. <laughs>